I'm Leslie Brooks, and I'm reading the Acts study for September 10th. This is Acts chapter 2, verses 22 to 28. You that are Israelites, listen to what I have to say. Jesus of Nazareth, a man attested to you by God with deeds of power, wonders, and signs that God did through him among you, as you yourselves know, this man handed over to you according to the definite plan and foreknowledge of God, you crucified and killed by the hands of those outside the law. But God raised him up, having freed him from death, because it was impossible for him to be held in its power. For David says concerning him, I saw the Lord always before me, for he is at my right hand, so that I will not be shaken. Therefore my heart was glad, and my tongue rejoiced. Moreover, my flesh will live in hope. For you will not abandon my soul to Hades, or let your Holy One experience corruption. You have made known to me the ways of life. You will make me full of gladness with your presence. Here's some questions to reflect on. What connections do you see to the overarching theme of taking the gospel message to the ends of the earth? What connections did you see within the additional scripture references? How did this enhance your understanding of today's passage? What similarities did you hear between the first century church and the American church today? Why does Peter think that David's words in the psalm are referring to Jesus?